LFM 2.5 family is here and we are going to cover the instruct family member in 1.2 billion parameter which is a hybrid language model from Liquid AI that punches well above its weight class. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. You can see that we have been covering these Liquid AI models for quite a long time from day one. Everyone knows about it except Liquid AI. Maybe someday we, they will notice. Please follow me on X2 if you are looking for AI updates without any hype. So what exactly is this model? With just 1.2 billion parameters, this model is designed specifically for edge deployment, meaning it can run on laptops, phones and other devices without needing cloud infra. The architecture is unusual. Instead of being purely transformer based, it uses a hybrid approach with 10 double gated LIV convolution blocks handling the lower layers. I will talk more around its architecture, but let's first get the installation underway. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system, though I have one GPU card, but I'm uh, you can just simply run it on CPU. It's a very lightweight model. I'm using this NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Let me install all the prerequisites. While it installs the prerequisites, let's talk more around what this model is and its architecture. And I will unpack it in very simple words. So look, traditional language models, they use transformer blocks throughout. Each layer does expensive attention calculation where every token looks at every other token, which is slow and memory hungry, but not this LFM 2.5. It replaces the bottom 10 layers with something fundamentally different, convolutional, blocks, which are borrowed from image processing and work more like sliding window that only look at nearby tokens rather than the entire sequence. The LIV or linear input varying part means that these convolutions can adapt their behavior based on the input and double gated means they have two separate mechanisms controlling what information flows through, giving them more expressive power than simple convolutions. These convolutional layers are much faster and use less memory than attention. So they handle the grunt work of initial text processing. Only the top six layers use actual attention, specifically grouped query attention, which is a memory efficient variant where multiple query heads share the same key value pairs instead of each having their own copy. This hybrid setup is why the model is fast, Convolutions do the heavy lifting cheaply and only the final layers do the expensive attention calculations to capture long range dependencies. It's essentially a two tier system where the bottom is optimized for speed and the top is optimized for understanding context. There are a lot of other good things which they have posted in their model card and blog post and I will drop the link in video's description. Let's check out what is happening. Okay, so everything is good. Now let's download the model and let's check out it's how exactly it performs. For the code, I'm just going to use the transformers library. You can use VLLM and there are a few other options you can use. And first I'm downloading the model. Then I am asking it how many letter F are there in the word strawberry. Then we are encoding it with the tokenizer model is generating the output. We are decoding it and printing it back. So let's run this. Let me go back and run that file. So the model is being downloaded. It's a very small model, as you can see. And there you go. The model has come back with the response and it says there are two letter F's in the word strawberry. How accurate. So first test is fail. And this is a code which I have used. Maybe I'll just now ask it about the quintessential R letter and there are three R's here. Let's run it as is. I'm just going to show you as it comes out of the box. It is going to load the model and then we will check out. So there are three letter R's here, which is, which is correct. Maybe that was 
hard coded i'm just joking i don't know but i think that f1 it missed maybe we will check with the z i really want the model to give me the right answer here okay let's do this let's wait for it i'm not editing it so sorry if it is taking a bit of a time i want to show it to you raw there you go this time model works okay let's try out uh, more prompts so i will test the language a bit more so in the next one i'm asking it write 10 sentences ending with the word happy let's see what it does first is correct second one is not third not okay and some for some for, funny reason it also is printing all these you know token ids decoded uh, st stuff and i think these tensor numbers are the vocabulary indexes and each number is representing a specific token in the models around 65k token vocabulary so the it has converted this output i will try to you know uh, redact it in the next output but anyway so you see first one is good second is not not yes no no yes most of it is not good so language i think model is quite struggling on the language now we understand it's a small model but you know we have even seen the sub billion model in speaking quen family they perform quite well on the exact same prompt and it's not a hard prompt for the from the language perspective and we have come a long way in the last three years so i believe model of this size should you know respond correctly to this anyway let's try one more now to be fair to the model if you go through the model card and the blog post they also say that this model excels in tool use function calling so you give it a natural language prompt and then it selects the appropriate function and generates a tool call so the strengths are not only tool use but also on fast on device inference so let's test it out with a tool call so i have just defined this tool which is check order status there are some description parameters and what is required or not another tool is send email and the natural language prompt is that i need to check the status of order this then send an email to the customer with the tracking information so let's see if it is able to detect and select these tools or not i'm just going to run this and while it runs let me also show you the vram consumption so <clears throat> it is very very lightweight you can see 2.5 gig of vram you can easily run it on any modern cpu so there you go the model has worked perfectly well in this case this is a tool call it has generated that you know which tools will be used it and then from there it has correctly not only understood the task but also you can call the check order status per tool call which it has generated so pretty good in terms of agentic use and the good thing is that it's a small pocket model which you can use for that purpose okay in the next example i am putting this model onto the cpu also i am giving it a bit harder complex multi-step agentic task that requires understanding a com customer complaint with multiple entities like name dates amounts then it should determine the correct sequence of four different tool calls like search calculate notify and update to resolve the issue and then extract and pass the right parameters to each function and I will also try to see how many token per second it does on the CPU. So let me run this. I already have saved it. Let's check it out. So you see it is running on CPU. It is a bit slow. It is, but it is doing something. Not really, it's not that, yeah, not bad at all. So you can easily run it on your CPU if I quickly check my vram consumption there shouldn't be anything there you see gpu is vacant okay so let's wait and then we will review the answer and there you go the model has correctly parsed the complex request and generated a valid tool call with proper parameters as you can see and then it has outlined a logical four-step plan to resolve the distribute so 
instruction following is very good agentic reasoning is very impressive and the cpu inference is slightly on the lower side for my liking because i have a very good cpu i will shortly show you 4.05 token is quite slow come you know uh, but maybe uh, i would need to use the gguf but anyway let me quickly show you my cpu let me paste the command here i'm just going to paste it here so this is my cpu you can see it's a very beefy cpu intel one uh, anyway so let me know what do you think agentic reasoning throws it out of the park i think that is the best use case for this model on device implementation please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member because members are the stars of the channel they keep the lights on please also follow me on x if you're looking for a updates without any hype thank you for all the support